live. And we are live. Let me get adjusted here. All right, guys. So disclaimer before you guys watch this. I know you guys think my live videos are really long, but I try to put all the content in the beginning and then we just talk for like days afterwards. But luckily my phone's not charged and it's not plugged in. So we're gonna get to the content and then we'll talk about what we wanna talk about after that. So it's kinda like a little fun. Hey guys, hey Anna, how are you? I miss you, come home. Okay, so um, today I am opening the Cricut Bright Pad and for a full review, Ken's Creations and Melody Lane have already done theirs. And I feel like they do such a good job at like reviewing, reviewing things that you guys should go check their channels out for that. I'm gonna unbox it and tell you guys my first thoughts on it. Um, ugh, it's early, kind of, not really. I'm just tired. And we, I am not sure of the exact numbers. So let me know if you guys know the exact numbers right now. Pretty sure it's, $79.99, but you guys can correct me. So you cannot use my code or anybody else's code on this right now. Um, unless it goes on sale, you have to pay a retail price for it. But I've heard it's really cool and I've heard that it's already sold out on HSN. I've heard really awesome things about it. So I'm excited to open it up. I, it has been in the box since I got it. Seriously, it's sealed. I didn't open it to look at it like I do sometimes with the mystery box. But it came with a toolkit, which I'm excited about. These tools, this is a weeding tool set. And the first thing I noticed about them, I'm gonna, well, should I, I'll, I'll wait till the end to do these. But they have little extra tips on them. They're like bent more than the regular ones. So let's open this. Um, it's basically for extra e or quick, <laughs> can't read the words. Quick, easy weeding, comfortable tracing, and it's amazingly versatile, okay? So that's what the box says it is. But let's see what we think it is, okay? So I'm gonna open this with some scissors because I am. I promise you I have not opened this. I feel like I'm, mag I'm doing a magic trick. Like, promise you, there's no, I really haven't opened this. It's, I'm seeing it for the first time with you guys. Okay, so I watched a little bit of Ken's live video that he did. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about it. Let me get everything out of the box to tell you what's in there. Oh, fun, fun cords. I love when I get these things with things because then I can use them for all of my devices. I know you're not supposed to do that sometimes, but I do. Sorry, sorry companies. Okay, and then it looks like the charger is a regular Android charger. So you get an extra Android charger too if you have one which is convenient because my camera is, uses that, my, my everything uses that besides my iPhone. Okay, so then you get some paperwork. You're gonna have your warranty and FCC statement. So it comes with um, probably the same warranty that your machine comes with. And you'll get this. Ken told me not to throw this away, so I'm not going to. And he said that it comes with some really good ideas in it. So it looks like we've got tracing, detailed crafts, so like beading on top of it. It makes beading easier. Weeding, of course, that's what it's for. Um, and yeah, so if is the video working? Because someone said it's not. And there's always someone who says it's not, but I'm hoping I'm hooked up to the right Wi-Fi today. Okay, so my biggest fear was I was gonna open this and it was gonna be an iPad, basically. Um, okay, thank you for letting me know it's working. Um, thank you. Okay, so my biggest fear was I was gonna open it and I was gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna an iPad that doesn't do anything except lights up. But I can already tell that that's not the case. I was afraid it was gonna, f it's just, you know how your brain just automatically thinks that it is, a certain way so you just already assume that it's like that but it's not it's less um, fragile feeling and um, and all that so it's 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 plastic on the back this one's mint I don't know if they come in different colors but this one matches my pretty machine back there so that's fun um, and then the same thing with all Cricut stuff it's super simple so you've got your power button you're up and you're down. So I think you can turn the light up and down. 
Um, it's much larger than expected. Yeah, I in the box, it maybe that model just has big hands or something, but it looks like it's like the i it's like the size of an iPad. So I was afraid that it was gonna be like this small screen, and I was like, I can't just use my iPad, but. Um, I have seen it in mint and rose. So yeah, you can pick the color. You can even put something cute on it. Okay, we have to decorate it. We have to, okay? We gotta decorate our light pad. I'm actually like really excited about this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be that excited about it. So let me plug it in. Do I have to plug it in to turn it on? Let's try. Yeah, so does it have to be plugged in to turn it on or does it charge? I have my handy dandy plug right here. Um, Deco the back. You know it. We're going to be decoing the back for sure. Okay, so it looks like you plug it in right here on the top. I'm guessing that's the top. So like this. Okay, I think I hear my kids. They're here. And then it turns on. So I don't know if you have to keep it plugged in. Ooh, it's bright. Hence, bright pad. So you can turn it, whoa, and it gets, ooh, I might use this for extra lighting in my videos. Dude, it's kind of, it's kind of blue, but it works. It's like, it's like, look at that. It totally like helps with my videos. Thanks, Cricut, I have a new light. Okay, so, but you can make it super bright or you can make it not so bright, depending on what you're working on. And that's it. But let's try it. I don't know. Do I have a piece of anything that is weeded already or is cut? So let me open the tools. I don't, okay, so the one thing I don't know if you guys do know this, I'm supposed to be teaching you guys, right? Is does it charge or does it have to be plugged in? Well, okay, let's see. I think it has to be plugged in. But... I'll let you guys know in a little bit. I'll leave it plugged in and we'll see. But I'm pretty sure it has to be plugged in. Which is kind of cool because then you know it's, you have to keep your charger close by and you're not gonna lose it, you know? So I'm really digging it. I'm digging, I've already come up with an extra way I could use it, you know? Okay, so let's open these tools so I can show you what I was talking about. And let me see if I have something that's already cut that maybe I could. I can show you. I think this has like, it's random. It's not anything cool. So, okay, so I have glitter iron on that has some random like circles cut in it. And then if I put it, it's hard for you guys to see it. But if you put it on the bright pad, it shines through the cut lines. Can you see that right there? So, oh yeah, I definitely can see them. So like, I didn't even know if this had cuts in it, but now that I put it on there, I can see that it does. But it only has like two, it has like two circles. It's like an extra scrap. Um, you love the hats in the back? Those are all videos coming up soon, so. And they're for a fun thing that we're doing. So are they not the cutest things on earth? But, let's see. Oh wait, there are more on there. So let me, there's a lot more on there, which I can see if I hold it up to the light. So let me see if I put it on the bright pad. I can't see it, but let me turn it down a little bit. Okay, so I can see through it. So the glitter, the glitter vinyl, the glitter iron on is a little different. I wonder if I have a vinyl, a uh, piece of vinyl that I could use that is pre-cut. So how does it do with, with like a gray paper? So let's, let's grab some paper. Where's all my Cricut papers I just got? Well, these are like dark papers though. Okay, so these are thick cardstock that I got from Cricut. And you can see that if you lay it on there, you can see through it. So that's really thick, dark cardstock. And is it up all the way? No, and it's not even up all the way. So you can definitely see through thick red cardstock that I got from Cricut. The white is a little bit harder to see through though, I think. But if I were to put something behind the white, obviously maybe, what about two pieces of cardstock? So I don't think it can go through two pieces of cardstock, but cardstock is super thick, but it does go through one piece of cardstock for sure. What else can I put on it? You guys give me ideas while I open this. I'm sorry, I haven't been reading comments. I got in trouble because when these videos go live, I um, 
read the comments too much. And then people are like, you read the comments too much. I can't pay attention to you. Hi, Jillian. So one thing I love about our live videos, guys, is we get to hang out. And I can talk to you guys if I wanna talk to you guys. And it might add to the craziness of the video. Um, you had the same exact question. I didn't see the question. Well, they should have watched live, right? I know. So yeah, I mean, there's a part of it that I love the aspect that it stays up and I can put like some valuable information up and not have to really work too hard on the video. But, um, so I try to balance it, but at the same time, like I'm talking to you guys and I wanna answer your questions and I wanna talk to you guys. That's why I try to put all the content at the beginning of the video and then I try to have the fun stuff at the end so people who are live or people who just like to hear me talk, I don't know why you like that, but those people can actually like, um, don't judge me on my package opening skills. I've never mastered that, never. And I'm in a really weird mood today. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what I have to do in the next two weeks. And you'll know why I'm so insane right now. Um, I need to purchase transfer tape separately. Do You need to purchase transfer tape, transfer tape separately from vinyl. Hello from Austria. That one's hard. I can't ever tell if you say Austria or Australia. Cricut packaging is weird. Took me way too long to open new blades. Yeah, you know what? Everybody's packaging. I, that's one thing I don't like about consumerism is all the packaging. Cricut, I love your packaging. You do a great job. But it's not just about anybody in particular. I can't stand the amount of packaging that we use on things. Okay, so these are the weeding tools. I'm excited to hang these on my pegboard. So you've got tweezers, pointy, pointy tweezers. Is it specifically for iron-on? No, so you can use it for vinyl, you can use it for any of your weeding projects. You can also use it for um, tracing, and then I'm gonna try to come up with a lot of other ideas for you guys. So then you've got these tweezers that have like this, can you see the, the uh, curved point? Is that even working? Does my phone even do this? Does it even focus? Yeah, so it's kinda like, it's kinda like the claw. It's kinda like, Rrr. We'll call these the tip. We gotta name these because they're new. This is the baby shark. Do, 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 do. Okay. This is the pterodactyl. No, T Rex. T Rex grasshopper. Kind of looks like a kind of looks like a praying mantis T Rex. Praying mantis T Rex. Renamed it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Then we've got just the pointy. I think we already have one of these, so I can't rename it. That one. Oh wait, I don't have this one. Wait. It's a weeding tool. It's just a basic, look at, I've looked at the new one so long that I don't even, I can't even recognize a basic weeding tool. This is a weeding tool, we'll leave it at that. And then weeding tool, pointy weeding tool. This is just a stabber. This is like a skewer. So that's fun. Oh, this one is my favorite. Okay, and then a weeding tool with a pointy at the end. Okay, so. That's like a one-legged one legged pterodactyl <laughs> grasshopper. That's what we'll call it. That's so easy to say. One-legged pterodactyl grasshopper, one-legged T-Rex grasshopper. What is this called? What should we call it? Cricket, what is it actually called? Let's see what Cricket decided to name them and we should send them. They actually have names. We should send them our names and see if they'll change them. So we've got the weeder, the weeder the regular old weeder. You've got the hook weeder. That's what I called the one-legged pterodactyl grasshopper. Um, piercing tool. So I was pretty close. This is the piercing tool, okay? So I can't remember what we called that. I called it the dagger or something. Uh, hook tweezers. Aw, hook tweezers. I definitely like pterodactyl grasshopper. Or no, no T-Rex. Praying Mantis, that's what we called it. And the fine tweezers, which I like Baby Shark. Okay, so Cricut, feel free to redo your packaging and call them what we called them. Just kidding, so fine tweezers, hook tweezers, 
piercing tool, hook weeder, and weeder, just in case you actually want to know the real names of those when you want to buy them. So tools are like my favorite, especially because when I have friends over, I want to have extra tools and stuff that they can use so we can all weed at once or when I have a lot of projects and I have to put my kids on it and I'm like, hey, we're all weeding. So these are really cool for that kind of stuff. I'm excited about these actually because they're like, you can weed with them and grab with them. That's like my worst nightmare. Not really, I have more. I actually don't ever have nightmares. Okay, so this thing's plugged in. I'm pretty sure you have to keep it plugged in. Yep, I think you have to keep this thing plugged in, guys. So you keep it plugged in while you're using it. Turn it up. Um, pointy scalpel. So if you, that was a comment, not just my randomness. Okay, so I'm trying to think what other stuff I have lying around. Let's go to our scraps. You guys can go with me. You love my hair today, it looks great, thanks. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you this because you guys were wondering what it looked like anyways. This is, it's almost done. One of ours, we, we stopped. But I've got this where I keep all my scrap and some of my Mickey ear embellishments. But I have pre-cut vinyl, so we're going to use some of those. All of these have cuts in them. And I have pre-cut iron-on. Apparently this has a cut in it somewhere. I think it does. So we'll we'll look at that. We'll look at... Um, what else do I have? We'll look at this white glitter iron-on and this glitter or this regular iron-on. So we'll go over here and look at that with the bright pad. And grammar issues, Tammy. Be nice to each other, guys. Love one another. All right, I'm going to put you guys back up in your saddle. All right. I am on one today. I am like in a mood. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys if I have enough battery power, all the stuff I have to do in the next two weeks. But I um, is going to, I is going to, who has the grammar problems now, Tammy? I do. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what the light pad looks like and hopefully you guys can see it. So I have it on there and it, you can see that it's shining through. Shines so bright. It's on high. Can you guys see it? So it definitely makes the lines glow, but I don't know if you guys are gonna see that in the camera. Can you guys see that? It's glowing. Glow. Do you have any coupons for the Ansia Sound Art? I don't have a coupon, but my viewers get a special price on the 16 by 20 canvases. So um, I gotta talk to them and make sure we know the right pricing for that. But I think if you go on their website, the canvas price that you guys see, you guys actually get a better price than that. Which is what I should probably be telling you guys more often. Um, this doesn't look like it has a cut in it. It's in the wrong drawer. Okay, so then white, oh, white glitter iron on. Can you guys see this? It's kind of a lot. Look at how glowy it is. Wait, focus, focus. Look at, it's glowing. It's totally glowing. Your craft room is the dreams are made is what you're doing. It's what dreams are made of, but it's getting there. It's that's my my that is my goal in here. Is I want it to be look at my teeth fell down like uh, two steps forward, one step back. My teeth fell down. But um yeah, I've been working on getting my craft room together and cute, but it's hard because it has to be functional, but it's it's getting there. I can't wait to do a tour when it's all done. Okay, so that is that. That is the Cricut Bright Pad. If you guys want it, I will put a link in the description box below as well as on my blog, antitay.com, or you can click the link for all the coupons. And I don't think you can use coupons on this though. They told me you can't use my coupon on it, but Apparently, I think you can't use my coupon on the machines either. I think that's what the problem is. A lot of people are like, your, your, your whatever's not working and then it's working and then it's not working and then it's working. I think it's because you can't use it on the machine. But I need to, have you guys ever used my coupon on the machine? Um, sorry I'm late, what does it do? So yeah, you missed the entire video part of the actual content of what we're supposed to be talking about. And I think this is one of the problems too. People jump into my live videos right here when I'm about to go into like weird stuff, like just catching up with my 
followers and my friends on the internet world and they're like I thought this was a video on the Cricut iPad light thingy and I'm like yeah but you missed that part it's you gotta watch it now in the regular time so I used the coupon code last week to buy a machine so yeah you can use it on the machine so I don't know what the issue is you can use it on the machine has anyone used it on a bundle now let's try that because it works it works all the time for people people tell me all the time that they use my coupon so i don't know what's going on with the people who it's not working for i don't know but i wanted to talk to you guys about what i'm doing in the next two weeks just because i needed to share it because i shared it with my patrons in facebook this morning and i was like holy moly i am insane why am i doing all of this because i love life really i messaged cricket and they said it wouldn't work on machines um, I think his bright bad is too new to use a coupon. I was able to use it on a machine, not on the bundle. Okay. So people have been able to use it on the machine before. So it should work on the machine. Maybe if the machine's on super sale or something, they don't allow it, but I'm pretty sure it does too. I tried, it didn't work for me like two weeks ago. I tried to buy a bundle. I used the free shipping coupon code on the bundle and it was better deal anyway. Okay, yeah, so I always try to have the best deal on my blog at all times. They also send me like exclusive codes that I'm allowed to use um, that they don't give to the public. So just make sure you're always using my link because that will help you save the most money. Bought the bum bundle, they wouldn't take it. Okay, so it must not work on bundles. Sorry. Okay, so today and tomorrow I have kind of a free working day, so that's fun. Then we have Sunday morning, I am leaving early, early to go with our high schoolers on a camp, to summer camp in Hume, San Diego. Stay there for a week and then I get to spend a couple days in San Diego after that with my cousin who is due on the 22nd and I'm hoping to make her due date. You know, due dates are kind of iffy, obviously, because it's dependent on like when the baby wants to come and when your body wants the baby to come out. But, um, so I'm hoping I can make it there for her due date. And I shared more about this in the patrons, but like why it's important for me to be there for her and why I wanna be there because I was there for her first one and my cousin, it's my cousin's wife and he was deployed and I was her, you know, stand in dad while he was gone. So I kinda wanna be there for this baby too. Um, but you know, so trying to hit that, but then I have to come back for a Six Flags trip with the Club 54ers, which is fourth and fifth graders and we're gonna spend a whole day in Six Flags and then the next day we drive up to Idaho for a softball tournament and we're staying there for three days two of those days is basically driving up to Idaho and then driving back down from Idaho then we have a couple days I have a couple days of rest and um, I get on a plane to go to the Cricket Mountain Makeathon, which I think I should do a live video just on that to introduce it and get you guys excited. I'll be doing tons of live videos from there. I don't know about tons because that's like 2,000, but I'll be doing a lot of live videos from there. And I'll be doing some collaborations with Ken's Creations and Melody Lane and um, some other Cricket people. And then I will be going to CVX Live the day it ends. It ends in the morning and then I'll be going to CVX Live at night and the next day for a day, only one day of that. And I'm hopefully gonna be doing some collaborations with, um, uh, I don't even think you guys know I know her, but uh, Aaliyah Rose from The Voice. She is a YouTuber and we're, I'm gonna be hopefully doing some stuff with her if I can get my life together and bring some stuff for us to do. And, Hopefully Jordan Page. I haven't reached out to her yet, but she's from Millennial Moms and I wanted to do some maybe budgeting stuff with her because I'm really being inspired to share my debt story with you guys somehow in some way, but I want to do it creatively. So, um, and then I come back for a wedding and then we have like four days before school starts. So then I'm going to be spending some awesome time with my girlies, my kids, and we're going to be doing some fun back to school shopping and things like that. And then it's like, full-fledged Halloween videos into shooting Halloween videos because I have videos shot already for you guys. The, the only other stuff I have to do is live videos through September with you guys. So that means my live videos are gonna get more fun and more planned out and all that. And um, Halloween is gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna say it. It's planned, the way it's looking, it's going to be awesome, but you never know what life is gonna throw at you. 
Hala DIYs was supposed to be awesome last year, but it didn't end up being awesome. So just subscribed and discovered you today. So excited to learn more about the Cricut. I think that's what you said. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks, Emily. Okay, I did not drink coffee today. I've been up since like 6.30 because my dog woke me up. He's like on this kick where he wants to just be awake as early as he can and he literally will grab anything in my room and drag it out and he will do it until he grabs something that is valuable enough for me to chase him out and then he's like ha I got you and then he like runs outside and he wants to play fetch he's so cute right everyone thinks he's adorable um yeah so I'm actually looking for a dog probably not the best idea since I'm so busy but I really want to get him a friend. So what are you guys' thoughts on that? Now that we're into the, like the talking about our dog section of the video, what do you guys think about getting two dogs versus one dog to keep one dog a little more entertained? What do you think about that? I'm going to say my cousins ruined it for me because they have two really cool dogs that hang out and they like play together all day and they're good. They have a big dog and a little dog and they fit in one crate and the little dog doesn't take up much space but he learns the good habits from the big dog. So what do you guys think about that? What do you think? Should I get another dog? We have a corgi and he is so cute. We're looking to get him a friend as well. It's more work but dogs will enjoy it. How old is your dog? My dog is nine months. I think he's almost 10 months. September, September 20th is his birthday. So um, I he's nine months, so I know he's gonna mellow out, but he's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever and they need a lot of exercise. And I take him for a run, I take him for walks. Um, maybe I should shut my bedroom door. No, he will like, he just, he wants, he will run around the house and he'll just try to open he like tries to wake whoever he can however he just wants us awake and he will try whatever he can to get us to wake up he just wants to play and he's just in this mood where he wants to be exercised because he's been sleeping all night um so i've been trying to use it as an excuse to get up and run with him um but he's been getting up earlier and earlier so i'm just wondering like he loves to be outside early in the morning but he likes us to be out there with him I'm a good doggy mom. I am trying. <laughs> Your puppy will be two in September and he's just finally settled down in the last few months. And I don't want him to settle down. That's the thing is I don't want him to not exercise. I want him to be exercised. But I feel like the times when I have to leave him home, like when he plays in the backyard, he just lays there. He just sleeps. I feel like if he had another dog, they would at least get up and play with each other. Um, so I don't be mean to Jillian. She's my friend, okay? So Jillian is actually gonna be coming and helping me doing some ears, cause she's local and she does really cute Mickey ears, so we do care. And um, yeah. Hi, Layla. That's a really pretty name. My niece's name is Lila, but I like Layla too, that's cute. Um, yeah, we are working on something, huh? Okay, so it's really hot, but obviously um, I have a really busy next two weeks and I'm really excited for them because they're fun. Bye, Jillian. And um, I'm they're fun two weeks, so I'm just trying to take every day as it is, and I said I'm gonna insta-vlog it because I was insta-vlogging last year, and they keep popping up in my time hop, and I'm so bummed that I haven't been insta-vlogging, but I'm gonna insta-vlog these next two weeks because those are fun memories, and they're like a minute long, so they're super fun for me to watch. So my phone is dying and I think I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you, Layla. Um, I don't know who's being nasty and I'm not reading it enough to um, block anything. So we, um, you've made any tutorial with the holographic vinyl. No, I need to order holographic vinyl ASAP. I am in love with that stuff and I haven't gotten any yet. So I haven't made, well, I've gotten the other brands, but I like to use Cricut stuff with my machine so I don't screw it up. Um, I screwed up, I tried to use something from another company the other day and I screwed it up because I realized that the product itself is different. So thank you for subbing to my channel. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I will be uploading a video today and like it's gonna be up soon, like within the next hour. So that'll be going up and uh, it's a good one, and it's edited by my new edited my, my new editor, Tyler, and you guys can let me know and him know what you think of his editing skills. I'm super excited to have him on board. His YouTube channel's 
Tyler Kidd with two D's. He's um, definitely different than me. He's not the same as me. No one is, but he's definitely far from the same as me. So I don't know if you'll like his channel, but um, he's an awesome person and he is doing some editing for us. And I'm really excited to have him on board. He's been like 100% go-getter at this and I'm hoping that I can produce more for you guys because he's going to be helping. Can I do any back to school crafts? I will do them live, okay? So anything that you guys ask me to do from now till September has to be live because everything is already done. Um, I did make that A. I made that for VidCon. We had a booth and I had Tay and I had Auntie above it. And so now all my, uh, this was for ZVX Live. These were my first 5,000 subscribers. They were putting fingerprints on my canvas and at the event. So now all of my decor that I've used at events is going to good use because I'm putting it up in my office. You're a teacher and new to Cricut. This is gonna be a good machine for you to have then. Um, do I do do lots of live streams. So I will be doing more now that I have my actual videos scheduled and ready to be edited. I will be able to plan out my live streams better and make them more high quality for you guys. I'm trying to figure out still how to use my camera through live streams. So if you guys know, comment down below in the actual video when it goes live so it doesn't disappear. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out with me for half an hour today. Thanks, Cindy. I really like you. You're always commenting on so many things. I've always meant to comment back, but then I get distracted because I am Dory. So, um, yeah, I wanna do some crafts and back to school stuff and all that stuff. So we'll be doing some live stuff. I've got this whole section is videos that I meant to do, but I haven't gotten to. So those are gonna have to be all live video stuff so i'm excited for that okay goodbye guys i love you au revoir hasta luego teach me how to say goodbye in so many and i'm gonna say it in so many languages at the end of all my videos au revoir goodbye hasta luego obviously those are the three languages i know a little bit um ciao aloha oi weather chefin off weather chefin i'm guessing that's Dutch. Goodbye in English. Adios. I already know Spanish. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Ciao. I said that one, too. I could stay here all day reading these. You guys are so fun. Okay. Bye for reals. Aloha.